Hi, this is a revision on eigenvalue and eigenvectors. We are going to determine the larger eigenvalue and the corresponding eigenvector of the matrix 2332. First, to find the eigenvalue, we must solve the characteristic equation, which is the determinant of a minus lambda i equal to zero. A is a 2 by 2 matrix, 2, 3, 3, 2, and I is a 2 by 2 identity matrix, 1, 0, 0, 1. So, lambda times identity matrix is the diagonal matrix lambda 0, 0, lambda. So, this gives us determinant of 2 minus lambda 3, 3, 2 minus lambda equal to 0. But we recall that determinant of A, B, C, D is A, D minus B, C. So we have 2 minus lambda times 2 minus lambda minus 3 times 3 equal to 0. Expand out, we get 4 minus 4 lambda plus lambda square minus 9 equal to 0. Regroup, we have lambda square minus 4 lambda minus 5 equal to 0. Factorize it, we get lambda minus 5, lambda plus 1, multiply, give you 0. So, lambda equal to 5 or minus 1. And the larger eigenvalue is lambda equal to 5. Second step, we are going to find the corresponding eigenvector for lambda equal to 5. Let E1 equal to xy be the eigenvector corresponding to lambda equal to 5. This means a times e1 equal lambda times e1, where a is a 2 by 2 matrix, 2, 3, 3, 2, and lambda equal to 5. Multiply the left hand side and right hand side I have 2x plus 3y, 3x plus 2y on the left hand side, 5x, 5y on the right hand side. Then we have a simultaneous equation, 2x plus 3y equal 5x, and 3x plus 2y equal 5y. Which means 3y equal 3x from the first equation, and 3x equal 3y from the second equation, or x equal y. Since y is equal to x, the eigenvector e1, which is equal to xy, is equal to xx. Factor out the x, we have x times 1, 1, for x not equal to 0, since eigenvector cannot be zero vector. Therefore, we take e1 to be a vector 1, 1. This is the eigenvector corresponding to lambda equal to 5. 